dark openings may very well be one of the generally entrancing and strange peculiarities in the universe they are. Monstrous monsters with regards to control yet at a similar time practically imperceptible to us. A dark opening weighing maybe two to four, multiple times the mass of the sun yet, due to the examination that was put into them over the last two or three. Many years we've gone from knowing literally nothing about them to getting to find out increasingly more very close and individual and keeping in mind that things have simply gotten more insane Makaku recently reported that we've at long last gotten a gander at what's inside a dark opening. Also, this new data carries light to the subtleties the universe of science may have missed from the beginning go along with us as we dig more profound into dark openings and uncover what's inside space's huge terrible before we dive into the subtleties of what Makaku found we need to discuss the firsts, despite the fact that a large portion of us have some thought. What dark openings are there are still a few holes in the right data you see in 1916 Albert Einstein distributed his hypothesis of general relativity which anticipated the presence of dark openings. Around then, the idea of dark openings was simply hypothetical. It took another 50 years for mainstream researchers to find proof that dark openings, as a matter of fact, exist. This occurred during the 1960s. They were examining the Cygnus group of stars at the point when they saw a strangely radiant blue star that was radiating X beams. This star was certainly not a stale item, however, was going around a monster dark something upon. Further examination, it was viewed that as the X-beams weren't simply moving around on their own, however, they were being sucked into the dark thing they were circling. Accordingly, the name Dark opening this revelation was huge on the grounds that it gave verification that dark openings really exist. What's more, that were only an illusion of Albert. Einstein's wild creative mind while that was extraordinary it likewise intended that there was this unbelievable element in space that we earnestly had to find out about so scientists from one side of the planet to the other got to work this dark opening was named Cygnus X1. Also, it is situated in the heavenly body. Cygnus around 6,000 light a long time from Earth and it was no little revelation it's multiple times more splendid than the sun and extraordinarily thick which makes it have a solid gravitational force the gravitational force serious areas of strength for is such an extent that not indeed even light can get away from it for this reason it is known as a dark opening the idea of a dark opening is both entrancing and frightening it is a locale of room where gravity is solid to such an extent that nothing not indeed even light can evade whatever gets excessively near a dark opening will be pulled into it gone forever yet that part of peril makes it much more important to learn all that there is to realize about them was this it or were we simply starting the response wound up being the last option after the revelation of x1 researchers began to look for other dark openings they tracked down that there might be near north of 100 million dark openings in the smooth manner alone but since they are so unimaginably difficult to distinguish we still don't have a precise number by the by from the vibes of it there are a few million dark openings in the smooth way in our very world which makes them significantly more significant to concentrate so how about we separate it the primary worry with dark openings is continuously going to be gravity their gravitational force is extraordinary to the point that anything that enters it packs down cosmically until it turns into a peculiarity in easier terms dark openings resemble vast vacuum cleaners that suck everything in one of the most alarming parts about the examination that has gone into dark openings is the reality that if somebody somehow happened to fall into one they would quit wasting time that they become a solitary line this cycle would happen gradually and the individual would bite the dust before the last structure. 
in reality sets in so how about we simply say that nobody ought to step into one that they're everywhere so might we at any point truly be in peril regardless of the way that the nearest dark opening to earth is 500 light years away it's actually adequately close to raise various forms of feedback in 2021 researchers had the option to deliver the first clear photo of a dark opening explicitly the m87 dark opening this dark opening was shot a few evenings in succession and with each photo the specialists accumulated to an ever increasing extent proof about it they needed to join the individual photographs together to make something that filled every one of the holes this way they had the option to sort out that there are three layers to a dark opening it's not only one single expanding opening of nothingness as many individuals accept things are much more convoluted than that to try and get to the nothingness part of a dark opening you need to make it through the initial two layers the first layer is known as the occasion skyline what while in the primary layer is the final turning point once you pass the occasion skyline there's no option but to press onward furthermore you will be sucked into the dark opening it just deteriorates from that point on out the subsequent layer is the photon circle which is the locale where light circles the dark opening any light that enters this locale will be caught and cannot get away from the dark openings gravitational force at last we come to the third layer which is the peculiarity this is where everything that enters the dark opening gets compacted down cosmically until it turns into a peculiarity the peculiarity is a point in space-time where the laws of physical science as we probably are aware them separate and we can't anticipate what occurs straight away at the peculiarity the thickness is boundless and the laws of material science as we realize them fail to exist now what makes this endlessly more awful is all the reality that each and every dark opening you study will be totally unique in relation to the last sure they in all actuality do will more often than not follow something very similar three-layer con idea yet the way they capability could be unfathomably different at this point on the off chance that this were anything more all we'd require to do is bounce back on those telescopes furthermore simply concentrate on the main concern in detail yet with dark openings you can't truly do that researchers can study dark openings by implication by noticing the radiation they emanate and the gas and residue that encompasses them sending a test like the explorer in inside a dark opening is impractical in light of the fact that whatever enters the occasion skyline is pulled towards the peculiarity where it is compacted to a limitlessly little point so you can't can't precisely squander billions of dollars just to get a glimpse each time in light of the fact that the second the test draws near enough it'll just pulverize into nothingness hence incredibly obvious issue researchers are left with no choice except for to concentrate on these items in a two-layered way despite the fact that they are three-layered peculiarities in reality to make matters considerably more it are likewise the two to challenge there issues of each and every dark opening being extraordinary and the laws of material science as we realize them separating when we attempt to investigate within this implies that the conventional techniques for scientific requests don't actually apply to the review of dark openings that doesn't intend that the analysts haven't been occupied there are loads of various speculations and clarifications of dark openings and well with every one things get to an ever increasing extent fascinating one of the most convincing hypotheses about the development of dark openings is that they are made from imploded stars when a star depletes all of its fuel it can never again deliver enough energy to neutralize the power of gravity that is continually pulling internal accordingly the star starts to break down in on itself decreasing also denser as it does so on the off chance that the star is 
enormous enough this cycle can proceed, until it turns into a peculiarity to comprehend the idea of dark openings in profundity NASA researchers turn their regard for the center of the world M87. Stargazers noticed a strong whirlpool of very hot hydrogen gas that was turning at a surprising pace of 1.2 million miles per hour the sheer power of this turning plate of gas ought to have caused it to fly separated in all savagely. Bearings, however, it didn't researchers, concluded that there must be a titanic mass assembled at the focal point of the world to keep this from occurring. This huge item weighed as much as two to three billion suns and must be a dark opening yet that is not by any means the only hypothesis where dark openings turn in 1963. The New Zealand mathematician Roy K. utilized Einstein's conditions of gravity to give the best depiction of a turning dark opening Kerr showed that a turning dark opening wouldn't implode into a point as recently suspected yet. To a ring of fire or a slender circle, the circle would turn so quickly that radiating powers would keep it from falling this turning plate of issue is known as the ergosphere and it is the district encompassing the dark opening where the laws of physical science begin to separate. Be that as it may, the most interesting component of core arrangement was that it anticipated the presence of an Einstein-Rosen scaffold. Otherwise called a wormhole, this is a hypothetical section through space-time that associates two separate locales of the universe or even two equal universes. The thought is that assuming one were to fall into a dark opening rather than being squashed to insensibility, one would be sucked down a passage through the ring of shoot and shot out a white opening in a equal universe to figure out how this works. We want to take a gander at the idea of space-time in Einstein's hypothesis space and time are not independent substances but rather are interconnected framing a four-layered texture called space-time. Objects with mass twist this texture, making a gravitational field that makes different items move towards them presently envision a piece of paper. Addressing space-time in the event that you place two focuses on the paper and define a boundary. Between them, this is a portrayal of how items travel through space-time yet. Imagine a scenario where you could overlay the paper into equal parts. Furthermore, make an easy route between the two. Focuses this is the fundamental thought behind a wormhole. It's an easy route through. Space-time that associates too far off focuses in a moment wormholes aren't simply a science fiction idea they are, in fact, a forecast of general relativity, albeit nobody has at any point noticed one. Straightforwardly, the explanation is that wormholes are innately shaky and would break down very quickly. However, the presence of an Einstein-Rosen scaffold would imply that dark openings are not simply Infinite vacuum cleaners, however, could likewise be entrances to different areas of space-time, so might we at any point utilize a wormhole to travel through reality tragically the, in any case, answer is most likely no not yet. Regardless of whether we could settle a wormhole, it's improbable that we could utilize it to travel quicker than light Einstein's hypothesis of extraordinary relativity predicts that the speed of light is a flat-out limit on how quick anything can travel through space-time yet and after it's all said and done the hypothesis of wormholes and dark openings as pathways to different pieces of the universe, or on the other hand even to various times has been a subject of interest and theory among physicists for a really long time the thought that there may be easy routes through the texture of space-time permitting travel through huge spans or even into the past might pass at some point conceivably be progressive on the off chance that we could in fact accomplish it. One of the most interesting ideas around here of study is the Mutt Wormhole, which is named after the mathematician Royer who initially portrayed it utilizing Einstein's conditions of gravity. This kind of wormhole is basically a theoretical passage through space-time 
that could associate two far-off focuses, like two unique universes or even two unique times inside something similar. Universe the dog wormhole is frequently envisioned as a ring-formed gateway, like the mirror in the story of Alice in Wonderland strolling into another world moved, Alice to a reality where creatures talked in. Conundrums and rationale didn't necessarily in all cases apply in. The same way going through the mutt, Ring might actually ship a voyager to another universe or another time where the laws of physical science may be altogether different from those we are acquainted with yet at the objective that could simply be typical while the thought of wormholes for the purpose of interstellar travel or time travel is absolutely energizing as we've bypassed previously. It's likewise a subject of discussion and banter among physicists some have brought up that wormholes and especially mutt wormholes may be shaky or difficult to navigate due to the serious radiation and subatomic powers encompassing their entry the Pundits contend that Einstein's conditions of gravity which are utilized to portray worm openings and dark openings just work for gravity and that's what not the quantum powers administer radiation and subatomic particles to comprehend the nature genuinely. Of these peculiarities, another hypothesis is required that can join the laws of gravity with the quantum hypothesis of radiation all through the universe of science this is known as a hypothesis of everything a solitary hypothesis that can join both Einstein's hypothesis of gravity. What's more, the quantum hypothesis M.C.K. Yaku, who's a famous hypothetical physicist, has been dealing with a hypothesis of everything for many years too while there are loads of various renditions of what this could be. The one in particular that has shown guarantee is superstring hypothesis superstring hypothesis joins gravity with the hypothesis of radiation. The hypothesis suggests that subatomic particles are really small, vibrating strings and that the universe is an ensemble of these strings similarly as different melodic notes compare to various vibrations of a violin string. Various particles in nature compare to various vibrations of a super string. One of the interesting things about super string hypothesis is that as a string moves in time, it twists the texture of space around it, creating dark openings, wormholes, and other colorful arrangements of Einstein's conditions. This really intends that super string hypothesis not just joins together. Einstein's hypothesis of gravity with the quantum hypothesis, however, it additionally makes sense of quite a large number of the secretive peculiarities that we see in the universe, yet there's something about this hypothesis that, truth be told, messes up how basic it may sound at first, however, in a manner makes more sense to the superstring hypothesis, requires ten elements of spacetime in which the strings can vibrate this is very not the same as the three aspects of room and one element of time that we experience in our regular experiences envisioning what is troublesome. These additional aspects may be like however, physicists have fostered some con conceptual models that can help us comprehend, consider a two-layered lake occupied by fish that are, as it were, Mindful of the components of length and width to these fish, there is no such thing as level and they can't even envision what it very well may be prefer to live in. A three-layered world yet in the event that downpour falls on the lake and causes swells, the fish can see the impacts of the third aspect regardless of whether they can't in fact experience it straightforwardly comparably. Physicists accept that we can't see the